Hello YouTube and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tags. Before I start my update, I just want to say a big, big thank you for the 1,000 subscribers. And I'm really chuffed that I've actually managed to achieve uh, that kind of number. Um, when I first started doing YouTube, I really, really didn't think I was going to get this kind of recognition. Uh, so thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really, really means the world to me that you guys uh, like and watch my content. So thank you again. I'm going to do a quick overview of the tanks and then I'm going to go um, over each tank a little bit more in detail just to let you see them. If you want to stop and pause and, or do whatever you want to do. And I'm basically going to start with these tanks down here because <clears throat> these are my hardest tanks for me to view. Uh, these ones haven't changed at all. I've added a ton of leaves in all my tanks. The shrimp are doing great in here. Um, my only concern with these ones is I'm not moving them on fast enough and the young um, are not growing as quick as they should be. I just saw a little jumping spider. You want to see him? Let's see. Will I, will I be able to capture him? Maybe. Um, onto the crystal black tank. This one's the same. It has a lot of leaves. The shrimp are doing great actually in here. They're, they're reproducing. They have babies now. I'm not seeing any Taiwan bee young from these guys as of yet. But it's looking pretty good, this one. This tank is looking a little bit bare because the shrimp have actually taken the food and they went under the leaves. I don't... You can probably see them under there, actually. You see them? They're hiding. The tank looks okay. I'm going to do this one next, so I can turn this light off and let you see the rest. Um, as tanks go just for looking, this looks pretty nice. I like the water effect here. Pothos is doing fantastic. The crypts are growing really big in here. Uh, the Anubis is flowering. Pardon me. Uh, the Subwasser Tangan is growing a lot on the bottom. I've added a plane in here as well, just so I can kind of view the shrimp a little bit easier because that bottom was making it a little bit hard. There's also... If I can spot them, uh, crystal babies in here, and there's quite a lot of them all over the place. So they're like in this water. I'm going to go on to this uh, middle one here, but I'm going to turn this light off first just so I can kill this ambient light here. Okay, so uh, this one. Um, same theme again, lots and lots of leaves, it's quite important with shrimp, especially when you start to get to higher numbers because um, you have to have a more grazing area. In this tank all my heaters are off, um, just because it's warmer here now. Uh, this filter is a new addition, it was ba basically I had an air stone here and I thought, well what the hell, I may as well just add, a, add another filter. Uh, the oxidator thing that I DIY, you can see my other videos, is, I think it has stopped working and it's been on for nearly four months, I think, if I was to go back and check. Taiwan B tank, pretty much looking the same as before, apart from it has a lot and lot of um, leaves. The shrimp themselves are doing wonderful. Um, we've had no real major issues. Uh, lots of babies everywhere in this tank. You probably see them in the glass, on the sides. They're all over the gravel. The beautiful blue bolt here. Camera won't focus, of course. Really, it's not going to focus again. Alright, so that's overview for that tank. On to the top tank. Um. Oxidator is still working in this one, so you see the bubbles for the oxygen right there. 
Um, I decided to cut down the pipe on this filter because what I was seeing in the tank, you know when I was feeding them, when you feed powdered foods, you can see, you can kind of see the flow of the tank when you feed powdered foods. And I did notice in this one that there was kind of like um, dead areas, right in the dead center here. So I've cut this pipe down to create more of a suction on this side and I've also added another sponge filter. This one has the same theme as all the other ones where it's got a ton of leaves. Lots and lots of leaves is good for shrimp for grazing. Um, what else have I done with this tank? Oh yeah, the, uh, the, up here are peat balls. These are made from sphagnum moss and it's the organic type that you can buy from garden centers. It is super important that you buy organic sphagnum moss because if you buy the normal stuff it probably will kill your shrimp. Um, the reason I do this is to lower uh, the bacterial count in the tank. It's a little, it's a little trip, uh, trick you can do. Um, and this helps prevent deaths. This is why when you see uh, better keepers, they do the same thing. They put in the almond leaves and stuff in their tanks. It's, it's basically to reduce the pH, to reduce uh, bacterial counts. So there's the, there you go, another tip. Looking good, huh? I'm going to go over to here. Na, 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 na. This tank is doing so, so good. Uh, it's unreal. I'm going to go out for a full tank shot. Uh, I'm going to show you the, what I've done with the filter. It's the same filter as before, but I've upgraded the filter on this side. I've changed it to the clay balls that you get in the sewage system. Uh, and what are they called? Um, I, I can't remember what they're called. It's like a drain thing you get in the ground. It's the clay balls. Uh, on this side I've added pothos. As you can see, I've also added cotton, filter cotton on this side and I've add, also added a pouch of purigen on that side so that's where this gets its clean look from. So we're doing fantastic all along the back on all the sides where I haven't cleaned the glass there's lots of baby shrimp because there's biofilm there and I was asked in a video um, on one of my videos in the comment section, how do I get the rock to look so green? Basically with this is when you set up your tank, you leave the lights on for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And I did this for a whole month with this tank. And when it got to the greenness that I wanted the most, all I did was add this. This is a timer. I switched it to 8 hours a day. Um, and the, the algae isn't growing anymore. It's just the same as it was when I first started. So. I've actually just fed the shrimp and they've taken the food behind here. Typical shrimp, camera shy, they're down there eating all the food behind that java moss. Maybe I can go down this way. Assassin snail there. Let's see. Babies in the bottom. Yeah, so this tank is doing fantastic. Now, the other thing I did with this tank as well is I changed the light. The LEDs that I had done this before, they were uh, really not cutting it, so I changed. This is actually a, a light you can buy from IKEA. It was only, uh, let me think of this, 22, 23 kroners, which is not even $3. Uh, so this is a bed light, and all I've done is take a GU10 LED light, and I've stuck it in. This one's a 6,000 Kelvin GU10 light, and it lights this up wonderfully, I think. Would you not agree? The other thing I've done with this as well is, is because I use the same water in all my tanks, and um, this also gets the same water, but to make it a little bit harder because it's Neo Caradina, um, I've added eggshells to the back, like um, like I've done in this tub down here, and this helps with the calcium content in the tank. Uh, TDS in this one is currently about 270, but I think this rock helps as well with the uh, water parameters. So anyway guys, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more of this content, please subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one, okay? Bye!